You have Procenic Air Fryer enabled. Do you want to open it? Yes. Welcome to Procenic Air Fryer. Procenic Air Fryer can controls your air fryer. You can say things like, power on, power off, preheat etc. The air fryer will work as you saying. What would you like me to do? Ask Procenic Air Fryer to turn on. Air fryer powers on. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and what you see here is my brand new 5.8 quart Procenic air fryer. Black and stainless steel. Let's take a quick look at it, guys. I would compare this to a Kasori. It's the back, nothing much to see there. And by the way, guys, this is 1700 watts. The cord's decent. Not too long, not too short. Now, as you've seen and heard, this is a network air fryer. So it works with an app on your phone, and of course, it works with your Echo devices. So that's pretty cool. Now, disclosure with the uh, Amazon Echo, there's only certain things you can do. You can power it on, power it off. And um, you can utilize the presets and preheat. That's about it. But the great thing about a network device, they can always, you know, do upgrades and add different, um, you know, things to it. So sky's the limit. Now what you see here is a square basket. Nothing, no, nothing different than what you've been seeing. Like, let's say with a Kasori, you lift, lift the guard up and then you press the button down, lift up. What you got under there, same difference. Let's look inside, y'all. Okay. That's the bottom right there, guys. But we'll get more into depth of this air fryer another day. But welcome to another air fryer newbie recipe. We're on page 24, and today we're going to make some chicken wings from Frozen. Rock solid, guys. Now, these are vacuum sealed. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you need to get one because I could have left this in my deep freezer for, I don't know, up to a year and it would have been fine. Unlike a Ziploc, right? So, and another thing I did, I, I um, seasoned them. I, you know, I cleaned them off and seasoned them before I froze them. So they're already seasoned. And of course, I just seasoned it with my go-to. I put some... Um, avocado oil or olive oil on it and just rub the stuff on and that's it so it's been sitting in my freezer for I don't know like two weeks and this recipe will work with you know just a regular frozen bag from the store you know you got it from Costco Sam's Club or Walmart where they're individually frozen wings they're not stuck together like this this recipe will work I mean this uh, time and temp would work for that as well but you're going to get more flavor because this is already seasoned. Okay, guys. So actually, we're going to do this at 375. And we're going to do it for 30 minutes. Really, 25. Because the extra uh, 5 minutes is when I put my baby rays or whatever sauce, barbecue sauce, or whatever sauce on there. And just caramelize it on there. All right? So I am going to break everything up at 12 minutes. So I'll check, I'll check back at 12 minutes, but let's get it started. Okay, guys, we're just about at the 18 minute mark, which we just hit, which will be 12 minutes. Um, what I like to do with new air fryers that I, I get I like to open the air fryer basket while it's on to see if it turns off. I know some in the past had, you know, you'd have to hit pause and then pull out the basket. But what I love about air fryers is if I open the air fryer basket, the machine should turn off, do whatever I got to do. And when I put it back in, it should continue from where it left off. So let's see if that happens. Perfect. 
All right, well, we're still together. So what we need to do now is just get a knife and just pry them open. All right, guys, so there you have it. So I put it on the side where, you know, it's undone. So I guess I just turned them over. How many do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. We got 13 in there. So that's a good amount. So we're going to put this back in there and keep going. We're going to take it down to when it reaches five minutes. Now, you saw me shoving it in there. That's just normal. I just got this air fryer yesterday, and I only used it one time prior to me doing this video. So usually it is a little rough for the first four uses. And you might smell, I, I burned off, I did a preheat for like five minutes at 400 degrees yesterday just to burn off any smells, because there definitely was a smell. I recommend you guys do that when you get an air fryer. Just let it run 400 degrees for five minutes just to burn off anything that was in there. You may or may not smell anything, but it's just a good practice to do for a new air fryer. All right, guys, we got one more minute till we hit the five minute mark. We're going to put some of this sweet and spicy baby rays on there. I've never had this one, I don't think. But if I had it, it must have been a while ago. But we're going to find out today how spicy this is. All right, guys, we should be hitting on the five-minute mark right now. Yep. So let's open it up and see what we're looking like. Come on, y'all. From Frozen. Smells absolutely fantastic. Look at that. You hear that? Now at this point guys, you can meet, uh, use a meat thermometer and check, check the temp. But like I said, I'm going for another five minutes so I know these will be good and good to go. Some of you guys don't like sauce, so I, I would, I would uh, hit it with the meat thermometer and see if it's up to temp and you'd be ready to eat because it's already seasoned, right? So if you don't like sauce, you're done. Something like that, guys. Mmm. I smell that baby ray, though. So this is what we're working with, guys. So I'm going to load this back into my air fryer, like I said, for five minutes. And what I'm going to do is increase the temperature to 400 for those five minutes and really just finish them off. All right, let's close it up. Like I said, I'm going to increase the, temp, the temp to 400. Alright guys, 5 minutes is up. This is what we're looking like. Come on now. From Frozen. Shout out to all my subscribers that hit the like button before my video is over. Alright guys, there you have it. From Frozen, you saw it, 30 minutes. 30 minutes of your time from Frozen. Already seasoned. Come on now. Got some ranch for you guys today. I never usually dip it in ranch for you guys. I know some of my subscribers like ranch. Please get the first bite. You got it? Mmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. that? That's that Walmart ranch. I gotta get another bite. Mm. It's got that twang to it. If you never tried Super Walmart Ranch, mm, you gotta try it. Adds a little extra. It goes left a little bit. Definitely try it. Now, of course, you could have thawed this out. And, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about it being frozen. But I wanted to show you that it can be done from frozen. Take this flat, y'all. You got it? Mm-hmm. This is so good. So good. And it's, remember, it's been seasoned. So this would taste so. This tastes 
much better than, you know, the frozen bag ones. And, you you know, usually people will just air fry like I did and then throw some uh, sauce on it and that's it. No, I taste seasoning to the bone. Mm. Either method is good, but if you could do it this way, mm, you enjoy it so much more. Well, guys, you know I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. This is, what, this is what was in the thumbnail. So, guys, if you have this prosthetic uh, air fryer or any type of standalone air fryer, I'm talking Instant Vortex, um, Power XL, Vortex, Kasori, Ninja Foodi, Shack Air Fryer, whatever you got. we love to see what you're making. Um, in your air fryer, in my air fryer group, it's called Air Fryer Nation, and we have over 61,000 people in there, so come in and share what you're making, or do a search and get recipes, guys, don't forget to look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug, and thanks for tuning in to another uh, newbie air fryer recipe episode, page 24, oh, and by the way, about the sweet baby rays, because I I be forgetting to tell you how things taste. I know I do. I'm working on that. It is not as spicy. It's it's mild spicy. It's like for people that can barely take spice, that would be just fine for you. For people that like spice, I would say you would add pepper to your sweet baby ray sauce. So it's just a mild spicy for noobs. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking With Doug.